here. All right, Tim says, I have a thousand shares of AVD average cross of 12. What is the best option strategy to make some money while it's down? Well, in all these situations, the first thing I always do in these webinars, when a customer says, hey, I've got shares of stocks that are down, what can I do to get back to break even? Well, I'm going to type in the symbol here and I'm going to go to the stock repair tool. Stock repair tool is going to help us calculate a potential, oops, wrong one, a potential ratio call spread to help us get back to break even faster. While the stock is down, you might say, oh, uh, stock I bought at $12, it's trading at 10.30, we're down about 20%. I'm going to sell 11 strike calls and just generate you know, 20 to 30 cents of premium every month or so. And eventually after five or six months, hopefully I'll make back the dollar eighty that I lost. Well, now the problem is if some good news comes out, the stock gaps up to 13, you've now got to buy to close that 11 strike call for $2, adding $1.70 to your cost basis, move it back up in price. What this tool attempted to do is using the available options, it only found debit repairs. Typically, I like to see credit repairs, but no credit repairs were available, Tim. It's only showing me debit repairs, but what it's doing is showing me the potential for a ratio spread using a combination of the 10 and 1250 strikes for a net debit of 75 cents, which might drop my break even down to 1138. So what are the repair details here? Well, the repair details, with 1,000 shares, I can buy 10 October 10 calls at 85 cents and sell 20 1250 calls, hopefully for 5 cents. So we're going to pay 850 out, collect 100 in. You're going to pay a debit of 750. How does that now, with a cost basis roughly of 1950, not really not 12, um, yeah, about 1950 per share. How do we get to a break even of 1138? I'm sorry, 1275 per share. I'm sorry, Tim. How do I get to a break even of 1138? Well, because of the stocks trading at 1138. You're still down 62 cents naturally from your purchase price of your option or your stock. You bought 10, 10 strike calls and sold 20, 12 and a half at 1138 on October expiration. Your 12 and a half expire worthless. You paid 75 cents in and you're down 62 cents from the stock price, but your long 10 strike call is worth 138. Sell to close the calls at 138, sell to close the stock. At 11.38, and you've got 12.01. You're at a break even with only needing the stock to go back up to 11.38. Now, that's just the numerics. I click on Analyze Trade here. And you see the breakdown of this position. The original break even, of course, was um, 12 even. New break even is at 11.38. Still got a ways to go, you know, naturally about 10%, uh, 11% move, not 10% movement in that case to get to that price. But if your expectancy is the stock's going to move back up in price, maybe it's going to be 40 days out, maybe it's going to be 50 days out. But this ratio repair might help you get back to break even faster if that's your expectation for the position moving forward. Okay. Now, Looking at this position, we bought it at 12. We're just going to stick with October. Why not just sell the calls? Well, you sell the 10 call at 60 cents, only reasonable premium that looks there, Tim. You're going to knock your cost basis down to 11.27. That's essentially your new break even, but it's not because you sold the 10 strike call. So even if the stock stays above 10, you're going to have to buy this call back and move it out to the next strike. If it gaps up and you get assigned early, you're getting locked into a loss of 11.3%. Still, you got the 60 cent premium in this case, but you could still get assigned for a loss. Now, of course, we could look at the October call. We get 10 cents for the 1250. Okay, so that's one month out. There's just out of the money call, not a lot of strikes available. You're getting 10 cents. You're down a dollar seventy from your purchase price, so that's going to take you seventeen months to get back to break even using the out of the money call to not risk getting assigned at a loss. 
How about going two months out in time? Are we going to get 20 cents? Typically not. Actually, we do. That's great. 35 to 45 cents. So now if every two months or almost 50 days out in time, I get an average of 40 cents. So 50 days out in time, I'm sorry, we get 40 cents. I've got to make up $1.70. So that's roughly four to five right cycles. So that's still 200 to 250 days, essentially. I don't know the stock. I know by this, there's risk with doing a covered call to manage a loss. Let me take a look at the stock chart first. Okay, well, so there's a big wild swing there. Just opened here, gapped up to 17 and came right back down to 14 and it's been towering down ever since. So what I mean by I don't know the stock, Tim, but I know it's a pharmaceutical is that we see this weird movement here, but it sort of pans out. Some kind of news came out there. This looks like some positive news came out. But I don't think either one of these are the big enough gaps I'd expect to see on a phase two or phase three drug trial that the company may have in line. It might have been, but I'm not clear. I don't know the underlying company. I know this trend, as naturally as you do, is not something that's very happy. And I don't like where the MACD is going. It's still pointing to more downside for me. And this thing is just riding the lower Bollinger Band. I'm almost expecting, eh, lack of a better term, technically. I don't have a crystal ball either, but technically I'm expecting more downside on this position before I expect to see the MACD sort of flatten out and show me that it's essentially going to start a different trend in that direction. I'm not even seeing this flatten out. I'm just seeing it still continue to increase in the downturn. Okay, so the risks of the covered call with a stock that's down this much. Number one, the out-of-the-money premium. Oh, sorry. The out of the money premium that we saw was only offering 10 cents in the short term, 20 days out of time at best, and that's at midpoint. You're down 170, so best case scenario, 17 months. The second month out is offering a, a reasonable premium. I don't know if there's if that's pointing to something that's expected to come out on this stock, earnings or phase two or phase three drug approval, as I mentioned why it's triple what it is in the short term. Usually it's not. Usually the options that are further out in time are a higher price, but the options that are twice the amount of time is not twice the premium received in the shorter term. It doesn't work though. It's the opposite, right? You usually are better off buying farther out in time because the option that's six months out in time is not six times the cost. That's why we want to sell month by month by month because you get a better annualized return. I want to buy further out in time because I get a lower cost per day. But again. In this scenario, there might be something going on between now and this expiration, which is why this is four times more. The 49-day out series is four times the premium, excuse me, than the 21-day out series. So maybe there's something between October expiration and November expiration. I just don't know about it. I would do further research on that to see what it is. If it is a phase two and it passes and the stock gaps up to 20, hey, you've got back to break even. You got assigned at 12. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, you got assigned at 12.50 and you kept your 40 cents. That's fantastic. So you, you got a winning trade now, but you missed the other side of it. Uh, Scott chimes in. He did some research for me. I was talking. The earnings are coming out on 11.8, but since it's a pharmaceutical, I'd also want to delve deeper to see what they have in the pipeline, what they recently had succeed or not succeed in the pipeline, because if there is a phase two or phase three trial, before or even after earnings, that could affect the stock even more. I've seen pharmaceuticals post a good gain, but have no movement in the stock because the phase two or phase three trial results are expected a week or two after. That's what everyone's betting on. They didn't care about the earnings. The earnings didn't move the needle. It's the phase two or phase three result that's going to move the needle. So again, I, but I don't know this stock. I don't know if this stock has anything in the pipeline. Earnings are probably going to affect it, Scott. That's why this is up there, but it could be another reason also. Just have to pay attention to it. But if the stock doesn't breach the 1250, Tim, as we talked about, it stays just in this 1011 range, just getting the out of the money 40 cents to make back the dollar 70 or so that you're down. We're talking five right cycles times 50 days, roughly. Now, well, maybe four, 160, you get a little extra five cents. So let's say four, but that's still 200 days out in time. All right, so 17 times 30 days five times times 50 days, but 
as we mentioned, if this is due to earnings, you're not going to see 40 cents for the 1250 every month. It's going to go back to 10 cents after the earnings event until the next earnings cycle comes into play. Stock repair tool is a good idea, but what did we see we needed in the stock repair tool to get back to break even? You still have to have that anticipation or that sentiment, Tim, that stock's going to move back up. What did it not do? It doesn't address the downside, especially with the debit spread. That's why we wanted to look for the credit repair if possible, because if I got 25 cents even for a credit repair, it would knock my cost basis down to 11.75. I'm getting some premium in with the opportunity to get back to break even faster because of the potential value of this long call as the stock moves up and stays below the short call strike prices. But you can still lose more on the downside, especially with this debit one. So I'm not sure if the debit ratio repair is the best approach with this particular stock. Now that we've looked at the stock chart a little bit, we know that earnings are coming up on 11.8. Um, but this is the balance. The stock repair can sometimes help you get back to break even faster if the opportunity is there, the pair is there for a credit repair, which I'd prefer to take. Covered calls can help you get back to break even. But as we saw, it's going to depend on what premiums are available for what expiration months and also what is going on in the background that might cause a sudden fluctuation in the stock. If I'm staying in the stock with a covered call to repair it and I'm crossing the earnings, it might be expensive, but I hate to say it, I might also buy a put for that November expiration with some of the premium I made from the call just in case there's more of a loss on the position. I can hedge some of that with the put option and a collar spread uh, as opposed to just the covered call because we know what earnings can do to any security. And I'd also want to delve deeper into the stock. I know you have if you're already in it, Tim, to understand when the phase two or phase three trials, what do they have in the pipeline? What phase one, phase two or phase three trials are coming up? around before or after the earnings on 11.8, as Scott pointed out to us, thankfully. So that's another concern to consider as well. Uh, all that being said, more insight into that comparison, because we didn't get a lot of time to go into it today, Tim, based on the questions that we had. You can go to the YouTube channel, and there's, there's, there's ones here in the webinars, direct on power options too. Let's just go to the webinars page real quick first. And I wanna go under options concepts, Strategies to repair sunken stocks. Uh, Macros a few stocks that are down. He wants to know the best strategies to repair stocks that are down in price. We walk through uh, how to get to break even just writing covered calls. Is a stock repair and power options available? Should we risk averaging down and then using covered calls of the stock repair? Or how would converting to a married put help or hurt and using the covered combination technique? This is more of an in depth walkthrough. Um, of the ideas we presented to you today. The stock repair versus the covered call. Should I average down and then do the stock repair or the covered call? What about a combination, the covered combination of doing a covered call and an out of the money put where if the stock falls and I get a sign say at 10 or 750, I've averaged down and I collect a little bit of premium here. And you can also look that up directly on our YouTube channel there. Uh, Strategy ideas to repair sunk in stocks. Avoid the need to repair sunk in stocks. Comparisons on stock repair ideas. This is a good one too from 11 months ago. Is it better to sell out of the money cover calls until they break even? Use OTM covered calls and the covered combination or use the stock repair. Comparison on stock repair ideas, Tim. And strategy ideas to repair sunk in stocks. Both in the same time frame, one year ago and 12 months ago. Those will give you a little bit more in-depth discussion visual comparisons that we didn't really get to do much today uh, for those two topics. I'm not sure which one I think is best. I think they're both really good. Um, I don't know why I want to say I think this one might be a little bit more in depth, but they're both very, very similar. I think this one actually brings more ideas to the table, but this one spends more ideas and more time, I'm sorry, Tim, on the out of the money covered call versus the ratio repair stock repair tool and averaging down and then doing the two. Uh, but I think this one goes to more ideas and concepts of that as well. Both very good. Uh, take your pick. <laughs> is that? And if you can't find them later on this this weekend, if you're looking for them, send me an email to support at powerup.com. I'll send you a link to both of them so that you can take a look then. Okay. All right.
All right, so Tim, I hopefully that answers your question there. If you have any follow-up questions, just let me know at any given time. But for now, of course, folks, it is 6.02 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I don't see any questions that came in, but if anyone does have any last-minute questions, I in, uh, encourage you, of course, to go ahead and uh, send those to us. And maybe we can check that out later on uh, or uh, sometime over the weekend, as I mentioned, I have to do for Lawrence so I can get more specifics and get a clearer bird's eye view of his profit and loss chart there for his position, what his total gain or loss is right now, and from there, evaluate some potential adjustments. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. I want to remind everyone that today's material are my thoughts and your questions designed for educational purposes, increasing investing performance and options investing knowledge. Any stocks or options discussed today should not be taken as recommendations or direct trading suggestions. Options involve risk, as we've seen, and may not be suitable for all investors. Now, today we had a chance to go through the search tool a little bit. We showed some great functionality of creating a search. We showed some of the components that are available for naked puts, for iron condors, and other strategies. Walk through the stock repair tool. Uh, got to look at how to research some of the stocks with the research tool and the option research tool as well. Just remember, you can take a 14-day free trial to Power Options at any time. If you haven't done so already, just go to, to PowerOp.com. Just put in your name and email address. No credit card is required. And you have full use of the tools for 14 days. After that subscription start, it's just $50 per month for the end-of-day data. Um, the delayed service will actually go up to $70 per month, and that gives you access to all the tools, the picks of the day, uh, with the data updates in the search, the option chain, and other tools uh, with about a 12 to 15 minute delay uh, in the options data and stock data as well. We do, of course, offer real-time service for a little bit more as well, but you can check that out on the subscription info page. Most importantly, though, want to take a look at that trial. Start it out, get familiar with the tools, and you'll be able to schedule coaching sessions, essentially a 35 to 45 minute phone conversation with myself or Ernie. Um, at any time as a trial member or as a subscriber as well. Of course, you, you, we saw today you can access the free education at any time. You can view our archived webinars page and scroll through the different views of the Power Options tools, options strategies, options concepts, or go to our YouTube channel and uh, just use that basic search function for Iron Condor, Iron Butterfly, Income Strategy, Management, and you'll see a slew of different presentations that are available and you can scroll through those as well. Or, hey, as always, send me an email, support at powerup.com. Say, hey, Mike, what videos do you have on managing a bull call debit spread or a bear put debit spread? And I'll send you a couple links to some of the videos in the archives there on Power Options or on the YouTube channel. And, of course, remember, today's full presentation will be available to subscribers around 7.30. I'm going to say 7.45 p.m. Eastern time since we did the full hour and 35 minutes. And sometime tomorrow afternoon or possibly Sunday morning, you'll see some of the different segments of today's presentation, the five or six different segments we had uh, be posted on YouTube there. And we'll send out an email when the different videos are posted as well. Now, if you do think of any other questions at any time, just remember, send me an email to support at powerop.com support or support at radioactivetrading.com. Of course, you can call us at marking hours at 302-992-7971. And of course, remember trial members and subscribers, you can go to Power Options, click on that free coaching link under the main home tab, and select to schedule a coaching session at any time that's available.